welcome to Treasury Notes, a show dedicated to the latest news and information from the office of West Virginia State Treasurer John Perdue. I'm your host, Gina Joins. Coming up on today's show, a West Virginia business owner forks over some big bucks to show his commitment to education. Plus, we'll see how thousands of West Virginia families are preparing for their own education expenses. That's all coming up in just a little bit. But first, we'll discuss why higher education is essential to a successful future and how you can prepare for the hefty price tag that comes along with it. Joining me now to talk more about that is Jamie Dickinson, a certified educational planner. Jamie, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, we always like having you on the show. And Jamie, let's just start by talking about the importance of higher education. That is really your mission. It's something that you help prepare students for on a daily basis. Why is higher education so important, going to college, going to a technical school? You know, I think that the federal government, state government, everyone wants an educated workforce. And, and I grew up in southern West Virginia, you know, and it's really important, I think, to get out and, and help educate the people of the county, of the state. It's just better for everyone if everybody has higher ed. And it doesn't mean, actually, like you said, going off to college. It could mean just a career and technical center, the community college. Uh, I know my parents taught at Southern West Virginia Community College and it was a fabulous addition to Southern West Virginia. You know, we just have to have an educated workforce and it'll help us overall economically. Um, if you look at statistics, there are a lot of research out there that actually proves that, you know, education is really a great way to set you free. So I always tell, when I go out and talk to high school kids, I was, I'm always like, if you don't like where you are, get educated and then you can make a difference. So it's really twofold. It helps the state, but it also helps the students in, in our state as well. It's an individual preference. Now, as a certified educational planner, what is your role? How do you uh, talk to individuals and the students out there in West Virginia and help them plan? You know, I think this is one of the biggest financial and emotional decisions for a family. I mean, we're talking about your two best assets, your kids and your money. There's not a whole lot else to talk about. And it's gotten, it's, it's so astronomically expensive to put kids through college these days that you can understand why parents can't sleep at night. I mean, a lot of people really have grave concerns about how they're actually going to pay for this. I mean, college is going up faster than the rate of inflation. And so, you know, it's unbelievable when you think that now, even in West Virginia, at our public schools, you're looking at close to $20,000 a year times four years. I mean, you're looking at $80,000 a student right now times the number of kids in the family and then add the inflation into it. It can become really expensive. It is such a daunting task for these families to start preparing it. And we're really talking about high school children, but the earlier you prepare, the better, I'm sure. Right. So take example if you have a baby this year and there's something about this generation that feels like they need to fully fund a, a student's education unlike my age when parents were like okay you're on your own but um, to fully fund a student's education now you would have to deposit one lump sum into a smart 529 plan of fifty thousand three hundred dollars wow. or three hundred and forty dollars a month for the next 18 years. And that's just at a 6% return. So those calculators are out on the state treasurer's website. So it's, it's I mean, you're looking at a car payment, but so that's you're a telling me I need to start planning. Start saving start now. Start saving now. You know, it's yeah. either pay me now or pay me later. Or, you know what, students really have to make an attempt to get scholarship money. And that's, you know, and that's really a, a great thing. So somehow or another, you gotta start planning for how you're gonna pay for college. How do students know if college is right for them? How early do they really have to know if college is right for them? I, you know, I have a lot of students who have said before that they didn't think they were college material, but to be honest with you, I think every student's college material. Um, I personally think kids should start thinking about college in as early as the eighth grade, because actually what they do in the eighth grade is the beginning of their quest for college. So if they're taking Algebra one or Spanish or you know grades in middle school that are going to carry over to high school They're actually starting on their quest for college I don't think they need to worry so much about their major and what they're going to do for the next 60 or 70 years of their life 
but I do think that they need to start focusing on their grades and their academics and their test scores in order to attempt to get scholarship money to help their parents out. So I think as early as eighth grade. And uh, when we say start thinking about college, a lot of times we think about where do they want to go to school? What do they want to be when they grow up? But oftentimes we don't talk about the cost of it. And that's where I think you come in as a certified educational planner. You talk to them both about their goals and how to achieve those goals through start planning now, I guess. Well, you know what I tell everybody that I work with? You got three things you got to figure out. How the student is going to get in. Can they stay in, which is really important. And will mom and dad be broke by the time they get out of college? Because, <laughs> you sure. know, there is no financial aid for retirement, and we all want to retire. And I think that parents are, there are so many sandwich generation there. They're trying to take care of their parents. They're trying to take care of their kids. How do you know whether you are supposed to save for college, save for retirement, save to buy a house, save to, to maintain your house? It's so difficult for parents to try to figure out which they should do first. But one thing I can tell you, grandparents are great in helping fund college educations. And so if you're a grandparent and you're thinking, you know, what do I do for my grandkids? What do I buy them for Christmas? Open up Smart 529 and start putting all the money you can in there. Be the greatest gift you could ever give to your grandkids. That's a great point. There are some great opportunities for help out there. And, Jamie, we'll talk a little bit more about how families can prepare for the cost of education in a little bit. But first, I want to share with you how the owner of One West Virginia Business has stepped up to help parents and schools meet the burden of educational expenses by contributing to his community. Kim Ward has that story. Sean Ball, the owner of LNS Toyota in Beckley, believes in education, and he's willing to put up his own money to help local students. We give $1,000 to uh, 16 different high schools in the area. Ball started donating to local schools several years ago to help fill the gap left by shrinking budgets. Everybody thinks that these schools have all this disposable income and all this money that they can just buy whatever they want whenever they want, and they just, you know, um, make the make the request and it's right there on their lap and it's just not the case. While he continues to support local high schools, Ball is now helping some students on a much more personal level. Every young child has a dream. And he's going to help make some of those dreams come true. Ball worked with State Treasurer John Perdue to start a matching program for his employees at LNS when they contribute to a Smart 529 college savings plan. $50 a month from an employee that makes under $50,000 a year that works for me can take advantage of my match, which would be their part $600 a year, my part $600 a year matching theirs. Setting up a Smart 529 matching program is easy for the employer and the employees. The process is pretty easy. Uh, to get a group number, you, there's one form you have to fill out and send in, then you get an approval. Once you get that employer number, then uh, every 529 that your employees open, uh, you just put that number on and then the upfront sales charge is waived for those employees. So it's a very simple process. And the employee match is only one of the benefits available to these LNS employees when they save with Smart 529. The state of West Virginia also has a grant for a matching $500. So they'll match, the state will match up to $500 also. So, you know, that's $1,700 for the employee's $600. It's very flexible. You, there's a multitude of different schools you can go to, not just in West Virginia, but all across the country, and I think even some overseas. But if you're using the money for a higher education or, or some type of education, the better your life, you can use the Smart 529 plan and get a tax break for that as well. Ball hopes that all of his employees take advantage of this opportunity, but especially those with young children. Would you rather save $50 a month for 18 years, or would you rather come up with 25000 in one year? But I think the match is just a great way to invest back in the employees and their, empl in their employees' children, because that's investing in our future. Treasurer Purdue hopes that other businesses in West Virginia will be inspired by Ball's generosity and consider starting a matching plan of their own. Now we have our foot in the door in southern West Virginia to go to other businesses and promote the Smart 529 match. And that is very important for the future of this state. Reporting for Treasury Notes, I'm Kim Ward. All right, thanks, Kim. What a great opportunity.